Surgeons at NYU Langone Health have transplanted a genetically modified pig kidney into a human body that continues to function well after more than a month. It is the longest such transplant that has ever worked without infection or rejection. The one month kidney biopsies and kidney tests show no evidence of rejection and normal renal function in clearance of toxins. The pig kidney appears to replace all of the important tasks that the human kidney manages. More than 100,000 people in the U.S. are waiting for a human organ, but only a third will live long enough to ever receive one. Doctors say their work is a major step towards creating an alternative, sustainable supply of organs for transplant. The procedure is fascinating for another reason. The recipient of the genetically modified pig kidney is actually brain dead. Marie Stuffy suffered a fatal brain tumor. His sister Mary gave doctors permission to keep his heart beating on a ventilator so they could do their work. Mo, as I like to call him, was a kind, giving brother who loved life and always lent a helping hand. It is only fitting that his final act, he will be helping so many in the need through this innovative medical advancement. Mo's family has given doctors permission to study the transplant in his body for one more month. Though my brother cannot be here, I can say with confidence that he would be proud of the fact that in the tragedy of his death, his legacy will be helping many people live. Doctors at NYU Langone will submit their work for government and peer review. They hope to get permission to start clinical trials soon.